welcome to my vlog. I hope you like the new intro and outros that I designed. I think they're quite sweet. They kind of are to me. I quite like them. Did them on Canva. Anyway, it's uh, funeral day. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock now. I've slept in really bad. I don't know what happened. Alfie got me up at six this morning. So I was up for about two hours, laid back in bed at eight o'clock. Uh, and slept in. I was supposed to film this morning because I've got a lot of Eurovision, junior Eurovision videos to finish. But I slept in. I must have needed it. Uh, so I'm going to get in the shower now and get myself looking a little bit better than this. Probably going to wear one of my new jumpers, maybe one of the stripy ones because uh, colour scheme for today's funeral is as colourful as possible because uh, she was a very colourful person. So the last time I saw this person, uh, it was at my own daughter's funeral. So it's going to be a funny one, but he's been always been there for me. So there's Alfie having a, a fit, uh, so I'm going to be there for him. So I'm off to pick up Alex once I've had a shower. All done, done my hair, got my new jumper on, got some trousers on that match. Very nice, very nice, very good, very nice. Um, so yeah, I've just been having a good think in the shower of thinking of all the people that might be there today. It almost feels like it's another life, you know? I spent so many years working on girl bands and with singers and we travelled all over Yorkshire and the UK doing gigs all over the place. He was co-manager of the Girls Are Loud uh, band that I did and I don't know, it does kind of feel like another life now. So it feels like I'm going back to... I don't know, it's weird, like I'm going back to something that no longer exists, but it does exist, all those people are just doing things differently now, they're moving on and, you know, they might be in the industry or they might not, it just, uh, then it feels like I'm going back in time a little bit. Oh, got a bit of an headache, I think I might go to Lidl on the way, because um, I've had no food yet. Uh, just to grab something to eat on the way over for Alex. Oh my god, I literally just made it. So yes, I know I haven't vlogged since yesterday, but as you can imagine, it was a, a, a thought-provoking day, emotional, all of the things. And I'll tell you more about it as my vlog goes on, but I've uh, had to rush into the shop. It's 25 to 9, so the shop doesn't open till 10 because I had a message this morning to say that a delivery was coming early that should have been delivered yesterday. Um, Konstantinos, I don't mind giving his name out, from DPD, who just doesn't have the ability to deliver. It's twice now, I'm just going to shut that off. It's twice now that he's just not delivered even though he's had the package. Uh, so when I spotted it was somebody else today I'm thinking it's actually going to arrive I need this it's got a customer's order in it that I need to send out so I'm going to have to do it um, I'm supposed to be swimming with Alex today uh, and other things I've still not filmed yet I've got a bit of a headache um, but yeah I legged it out of the house this morning Polycal Alfie's scratching so I'm going to have to make sure we've got flea stuff on that ah, so literally I walked in the door and the DPD woman arrived. So the parcel is here. What's clicking? Of oh, the CCTV thing is clicking away behind me. Um, so yeah, I'm in the shop. I'm gonna have a nose around and see what Liz did yesterday, what I've missed. Because there was a delivery yesterday of a few bits and pieces. We've got some more candles down there. Hang on, let's have a look. So we've got some more of the Divine Femme candles. These are not on the website. These are specially made for the shop, um, so if you're interested, I'll let you know. Uh, also, uh, the very fantastic Mallowbrook candles have arrived. Uh, this happened, ooh, about a year ago. Mallowbrook candles saw one of my videos, and just as a sort of cheer me up and things, they sent me a candle, and it was amazing. Anyway, since then, uh, we've arranged to have them in my shop. So like a year later, I've now got them. We've got rock, rock quartz with gingerbread, jade crystal candle with apple and cinnamon, amethyst, apple and cinnamon, jade, amethyst, rose quartz. So yeah, I'll have a proper look at all of those as the day goes on. They're in these very beautiful tins. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Let's have a smell. Oh, that's strong. It smells like Christmas, that one. 
Uh, so there we are. Um, they're not going on the website. They're going to be sold purely in the shop. So people will be able to get them on the lives. Anything else? I think just that the Christmas decorations are up. We did that on Saturday. Uh, trying to think if anything else arrived yesterday. So yeah, I literally just made it. So let me get some uh, scissors and stuff. We'll do a bit of a, an unpacking. Um, yeah, so yesterday, the funeral was beautiful. It really was. It was very rainbow themed. One of the details of, of the, the day was that you got to wear colour, wear bright, colourful clothing. So everybody looked fantastic. They were all colourful and rainbows. There was a rainbow bridge made out of balloons. There was a poem that we were given, which was all about, I'm, you'll see me over the rainbows and stuff like that. They played over the rainbow. And they also played the Beatles, Here Comes the Sun, which was just beautiful. That was really emotional for me because uh, I don't want to say his name, but this good friend of mine, he's obsessed with the Beatles. Uh, for those of you that know who I'm on about, he's obsessed with the Beatles. Uh, he's written a musical which has just been staged. Uh, he's a super talented guy. We've written songs together for many years. Uh, and yeah, I kind of work with students and then they go to him to do the songwriting after I finish with the voice. Is that kind of thing. We've worked together a long time. And yeah, he was so shell-shocked and just so... Uh, when there was like a queue to, to give him a hug as we all arrived, uh, which was a really lovely idea. Uh, and I love the way it was set out. It was set out like a proper performance. So all the chairs were set out and there was a little PA system set up and everything. It's so him, so him. Of course he was going to do that. I didn't, you know, I because when I did Ellie's funeral, it was just, you know, circles of chairs and we didn't put on any special speeches or anything like that. We kind of had the first part of the funeral for that. And then the, the bit afterwards was just where everyone could sort of get together. But this was a proper celebration. Uh, and it was a really beautiful day, you really got an insight of what she was like and yeah, it, uh, I just want to help him now uh, every day I think, do I message, is it the right time to message um, I've already said to him, if you need literally anything me go into the supermarket for you because that part of you is not functioning because you, you when you have a sudden death like this the trauma is just something you can't explain. There's a numbness, there's a shock, there's a... It's just... She was 43, and it... Oh, yeah, it was... They didn't see it coming, and... It's just so traumatic, and he's so numb, and so, like, it doesn't feel real, and no, it doesn't. It doesn't feel real for a second. So I just want to keep reaching out to him and say, look, I'm here, I'm here. You can go on. You can find a way forward. It is doable, but it takes a lot of strength and friends around you. And yeah, and his dad's moved back in with him, which I think is just wonderful. Uh, so that's great because uh, his dad moved away somewhere for a long time and then just come back to move in with him. It's just great. So that's lovely. Um, but yeah, the, it was good. I mean, there's a few things that happened. I know I'm waffling on here, but there was a few things that happened and I've forgotten about my box. Um, I met up with someone that I used to teach her daughter singing. I've taught thousands of people singing over the years. I've been teaching 20 years. So teenagers, adults, children, all, I've taught everyone, really. <laughs> and it's rare that I can get around this area and not recognise someone. It's kind of how it is when you're a teacher. You, people recognise you a lot. Anyway, there was a few that I, you know, I, I didn't... I'll tell you what was strange. I honestly didn't recognise anyone when I walked into the, the funeral room. And it was so blurred and just the emotions were so heightened and it was bringing back so many memories and triggers and stuff. I didn't recognise anyone other than him. 
that uh, no it's just but then at the end of the the sort of uh formal bit if you want to call it that it was suddenly like oh there's oh oh because i don't think my head was you know it wasn't i wasn't as focused as I, it's hard to explain but then you suddenly realize who's in the room with you and then I, at that point I was like I can't stay I need to go now but then before I even had a chance to to leave or anything and go and talk to him before I left people kept coming over and saying I'm sorry what's happened to you and you know we were just kind of talk, just talking and catching up and things and there was a, a lady there who we were we were nearly really close friends and I'm a control freak <laughs> you may have figured that out and I don't know we had a bit of a bust up and I think it was my fault I was very con what happens with me I think because of loss because of a lot of loss is I can't let anybody get really close to me don't cry Georgina because I can't lose anyone again I can't do it but it's too late <laughs> You know, um, there's a person that I'm really close to now that I said, don't get close to them because, yeah. Anyway, so she was there and I apologised for being a control freak. Uh, she apologised for being a bitch and being angry. And and I don't know, it just, it was like something lifted, like a relief. It was It was nice to just say your feelings like that and just let it out in the open. The things that you'd been regretting about the relationship that you had and then she messaged me last night uh so hopefully we'll be able to just stay in touch now and you know because i just ah uh, you feel there's time wasted there and there's things i've found out since that ah uh, i'm waffling i'm gonna open this box right so it's now 10 o'clock i've managed to do what i needed to do at the shop uh, and as I was driving back here, I passed Liz, but I don't think she saw me. So you'll see this in the vlog later when you watch the vlog, Liz. I saw you uh, coming through the windy roads at the back of uh, a village before you sort of do the Upton bit. Anyway, I've been to Pets at Home. Yes, I know it's expensive, but I needed to make sure I was getting the right thing because it's a while since I've needed to buy flea and worming and all that stuff because uh, I've been quite lucky that our cats and uh, Alfie's not really had an issue with fleas or anything like that uh, I used to routinely do Tilly anyway every month um, but you know I thought I'd best get back on track with it I'm not going to do one of those monthly sign up things because I already pay enough in insurance for the cats and dog um, so I'll show you what I got and I'll tell you what I did as well sneaky but pets at home and have an app and if you join the VIP club you get money off so I got 10% off today thank you very much but I was already a member of the VIP club when we got Alfie I signed up for it so I don't know what happened uh, it wanted me to sign up again so I signed up again so I got 10% off so I have got Johnson's Veterinary House Flea Spray, Household Insecticide. I'm told this is a good one. Um, carpet soft furnishings, pet bedding, kills fleas, larvae, and other insects. I also got some wipes because they were near the till. You know, they get you near the till. Someone cleaning around the car, she's picking up leaves. You'll just see her. There she goes. Um, multi purpose wipes, 60 fragrance free, dogs and cats, helps them remove dirt and discharge from eyes, ears, paws, and bottoms. <laughs> We've been using baby wipes, but I saw these specifically for pets, so I thought, well, why not? Three pounds, let's get them. Um, you know, when they have mucky bums, when, you know, it happens. Um, and I also got, because Frontline is stupid expensive, it was going to cost £40 for three months, which I suppose is not that bad when you think about it split over the three months, but that's still quite expensive when you've got two cats and a dog. So I got the Johnson's Four Fleas Spot On Solution for Cats. Uh, gives a protection of a month and you get two in it so that's great so that's for two cats and we'll see how we go and then I've also got this one fleas spot on dual action kills fleas and biting lice 
uh, larvae, blah, blah, blah. One treatment prevents further flea infestation for four weeks. For medium dogs, two treatments. So Alfie's got two months, the cats have got a month, but then we'll just see where we need to go from there. Uh, the whole lot cost me 26 pounds. That was a good one. I remember when I used to go to the vets to pick up Frontline and uh, worming tablets and stuff, and it used to cost a fortune. So I've done a bit of research before to try and figure out what the best ones are, because Frontline, I'm being told by the vet the last time I took Alfie for a checkup that they're having to adjust the recipe, if you want to call it like that, the ingredients, because cats and dogs are getting immune to it. So I thought, well, let's just do something else let's have a different one um but i'm told these are very good johnson's as in i'm guessing it's as in johnson johnson is it i'm not sure let's see oh god there's that much written on it hang on bear with uh blah blah, blah storage I suppose johnson's veterinary products oh so i don't know it kind of looks like the old johnson and johnson sign though Anyway, I'm going to drive home now and go and do all this with the cats and the dog and spray the house, uh, the bedding and such like. <sighs> um, and then I've got to film. I've got to. I've got eight, eight, seven or eight junior Eurovision videos to do. Then I've got a lesson later. She's got a singing exam. It's singing exam time. And then I've got the Crystal Life tonight. And I'll try and have a couple of hours break in the middle of the day. Or I'm going to go, like, really tired. Oh, ping! What's that? Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Somebody liked a message I sent. Right, let's get home and do all this flea stuff. Well, I'm at the shop now. It's 20 to 9. Uh, I got through all of the Junior Eurovision videos, yes! Uh, I filmed seven, edited four, Vise edited three, so by tonight, tomorrow, they'll all be on, not live, but all on, ready to go live, and then I'll do my five, my top five for Junior Eurovision this year, because the final's on Sunday, so I managed to get through them all! Um, so yeah, I've just done my crystal live. I've got the baskets of the orders behind me. Tomorrow there's a big beauty order coming in. Uh, so Alex will be here in the shop with me, going to unpack them all and price them up, take pictures, get them on the shelves. But I'm hungry now, I didn't have any tea. I didn't have enough time. I taught a session and then literally straight out the door to come and do the live. Alf is at home with Simon. He's going to London tomorrow, Friday, Wednesday to Friday. Uh, just a bit tired now I think I need food I need food but don't go I am going to continue filming uh, and uh, I'll be back in the morning oh hello it is Wednesday lunchtime it is 25 to 1 um, I got in just on time about 5 to 10 I had a bit of a sleep in Alfie because Simon gets up early to go to London at 3 Alfie decides that's when he wants to get up so I was up at 4 this morning until 6 went back to bed and then got up to come to the shop. Um, Alex is with me today. Uh, we've already done the delivery and put everything out, but I kind of need to re-do the display of all the beauty stuff, because I didn't really, yeah, just need to figure out what should go next to what, really. And we've got a basket for spares as well. Um, I'm just having a cup of tea. We've been for a sandwich next door at the bakery. Um, we're off to Nando's later because normally we have Mon uh, Wednesday treat day, duck and moy day. Mummy and duck day? I got it the right way. Um, but because I'm here, because I was off on Monday, swap with Liz, um, we're going out today. So I'll be dropping Alfie at home, going out for some lunch. And there's the new display over there. Um, just needs a bit of tweaking. Got new lip balms, new massage oils, massage tools. Uh, hand body lotion, uh, some new burners at the bottom, so it just needs a bit of a, a rearrange I think. I mean it looks alright, but I'm not totally sure if I'm happy with where stuff is. Right, cup of tea time.
Right then, it's uh, about a quarter past six. It's taken me ages to get back, having dropped Alex off after the Nando's. We had a little stroll around Junction 32, looked at some of the shops, that kind of thing. I didn't buy anything. Uh, and then it just took me ages to drop Alex off and then get back again. So I've just got in. I'm a bit out of breath. I think I need to rest now. Um, yeah, I'm particularly tired. Um, but yeah, no uh, readings, no teaching, no nothing tonight. Uh, it's 20 past six actually, I can just see the clock now. So I'm going to sort this vlog and then I think it's time to watch a bit of junk. And then I think it's time to watch a little bit of junk television. Tomorrow I'm in the shop. <sighs> Tomorrow I'm in the shop. Fry, I can't... I'm in the shop Thursday, Friday, Saturday and I've got a couple of readings on Saturday afternoon and then it's a London trip on Sunday to go and watch a K-pop concert but I'm not going in. <laughs> oh, right, I'm tired. I'll see you in the next one. Bye loves. Mm -hmm.